Welcome to the Generation Elevation Podcast, a conscious, connected platform for those who are ready to manifest their dream life. I'm your host, Elise Riley, a former PT, now motivational speaker, igniting empowerment and transformation all across the globe. Here at Generation Elevation, we are committed to bringing you the most inspiring guests who will share their stories, wisdom, and advice to help you progress closer to living a life of your own terms. Hello. So I am really excited for this episode because I'm going to do something that I've never truly done before. And it's going to be a little bit vulnerable. I feel really called to share with you all a journal entry that I wrote down on the 3rd of July this year. The reason being is that I have received some major lessons and learnings lately through life. And I believe that if you are listening to this right now, then this concept and these little tie-ins that I have come to the realization of, this message is for you. And these concepts, I guess, weaved together, connected, linked up, finalized literally the other day and it was actually from a conversation I had with my uncle and I asked him whether he knew of people who were abundant financially and happy. His answer was that these people are really rare and for me My ultimate goal is to have abundance in all areas of life. And I'm sure if you're listening to this, it's the same for you too. To have financial freedom, but to also be so happy and not attached to external resources, to external situations and people and experiences. To be so happy and fulfilled within yourself. To have absolute faith and trust in who you are as a person and to be the creator of your experience. And I asked him this and he said, no, I don't really know many people that are happy and rich at the same time. And if you have a think about it personally, I also don't know many people that are on that level as well. So I really started to ask myself questions as I always do as I am a very much a solution finder. And I came to this concept, which is the journal entry that I'm about to share with you now. So here goes. I wrote, in school, I learn in order to get the A, you need to do homework, answer it this way, leaving no room for any individual interpretation, creation, We learnt habits of pushing against resistance and working hard to get to where we wanted to be. I learnt the importance of following logical steps and instructions to bake a cake, to lose weight, to be successful, and so on. I never learnt the importance of energy and how you feel along the way. The difference between a cake just being made under pressure, fear, scarcity, insecurity, carelessness, apathy, greed will taste like shit compared to the one made with care, love, appreciation, attention to detail, made to share with others, to celebrate good times. This is the difference between a good chef and an excellent one. A movie and a blockbuster film. Over the past six months, I've worked with many coaches, searching for help 
in order to scale my business, to grow my income and to make more impact positively on the world. In a feeling good moment, I let go of a lot of old clients and I let go of scarcity and magical experiences such as meeting some incredible people and magical moments started to happen in my life. However, after being in a lot of personal development rooms, comparing my income and my progress to others, I made this mean that I was still not good enough and I needed to do more, be more, work harder so that I could have skin in the game and be the best coach that I could be. So I did all the things that my coaches said to do in order to reap the rewards. I would always hear sayings like success leaves clues. So if you follow successful people and copy and mimic and mirror what they did to get there, the steps the instructions, then you would be successful too. So I did all the things that would bring my manifestations to me. That if I worked hard enough and did what the teacher said, I would get there. And the thing is, it's not about getting anywhere. You actually don't need to move at all physically. During this time, I felt insecure about my home as I've been moving all around the coast, my finances, my body, my career, my ability to do what I do best. So much so that the energy I was projecting out through anything that I did meant that I was met with so much resistance. I was tired, busy, burnt out, frustrated, overwhelmed, anxious, fearful, worried, blocked, conflicted, angry, emotional, guilty, embarrassed. Such a low vibe. So even though I was following the steps, my cake was destined to taste like shit. And it did. I made a program that I didn't even want to do because it meant that I would be working more than I wanted to. And I made it sound good by adding all these extra things in that I had to do because I already had this feeling that it wasn't going to sell. So my cake tasted like shit. I had no one reply to the flyers that I sent out. I had no one buy my program. I had a death in the family. I moved house and I was trying to lose weight. And my body weight had not moved at all. So I stopped and decided I needed a different approach. Energy is everything. No more time limits. Time is a concept. No more doing busy that isn't actually getting me anywhere. No more doing work instead of fun. No more hating where I'm at right now. I started focusing on energy, my energy, what makes me feel alive, what makes me laugh, what makes me love, what I find fun. I started taking myself to the movies. I had my blankie and I binge watched Stranger Things season four. (laughs) I went to a comedy show by myself. I took myself out for dinner. I meditated by the beach. I started surfing again. I started connecting back in with my spirit guides, my angels. I started getting back into listening to Abraham Hicks, reading. I started giving back to strangers, even when I felt so insecure. And all of a sudden, I felt my momentum shift. I started attracting people, experiences, guidance, synchronicities, ideas, clarity to me. I started to trust myself again and truly realize how loved I am by my friends, by my family, in this world and in the ether. How life is happening for me. That my life has always been easy and the things that I want have always been fast and amazing. 
because life causes me to ask and as the powerful woman that I am and that those who are listening are, man or woman, you are powerful and because life causes us to ask and because I genuinely feel good and relaxed majority of the time, my manifestations drop into this space-time reality so easily and so effortlessly. And that is why most of my friends, my family call me the manifesting queen. But there really is no secret. The secret is feeling good and chilling out. I love the process of learning and what I was learning about in school, which is why I did so well. I loved PTing people face to face and helping others achieve their goals. I love solution finding and out of the box thinking, which is why I was so successful as a face to face trainer. I love the process of looking for houses, which is why I have always received my dream one. I love the process and journey of surfing, which is why I pick it up really fast. I love the process and journey of looking for cars and that is how I literally manifested the exact model price case of my car that I drive now. When I do what I love and prioritize my energy and my vibration and feeling good, I don't need a push. I don't need to work hard, be strict to get to where I want to be. I just need to feel good now. And so this was the entry into my journal the other day. And I trust that if you're listening to this, that you fully received the learning that I discovered, that it's not about the end. It's not about the manifestation list or what you want. It's actually about the journey along the way and feeling good along the way. Because if you are so focused on that end result, when it comes to you, you most likely still would not be satisfied. And that's what happens when people say, I will be happy when I make this amount of money. I'll be happy when I lose this amount of weight. I'll be happy when I have a partner, when I get married, when I have a baby, when I get this car, that's when I'll be happy. Rather than being happy in this moment, being fulfilled in this moment, being at peace, being content, being present within this moment, because it is only in this moment that you will allow that you receive all that you have been asking for. Thank you for being a part of the Generation Elevation community. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to leave a five-star rating, written review, share, and tag me on Instagram at elise.com. Riley. Until next time, keep loving, keep learning, and keep rising.